Hi everyone, Will again here. So I'm just out at the ewe lambs and today I'm going to be doing feastal egg counts of every group that we've got on the farm. So this means that we're going to see what needs worming on the farm. And yeah, if you do enjoy the video today guys, please give it a massive like. If you want to see more stuff like this, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell because then you get to see the new videos when they come out on Wednesday and Saturdays. Cheers guys, hope you enjoy. So I've just popped back to the car because I need to get bags to the feast egg counts with. So we've got three bags here as we're doing three egg counts there. We're doing the ewe lambs, the ewes and the tuck lambs. So what I need to do is write all the details for each group ready to the vet so they don't get mixed up. And that's what I'm going to crack on and do now. So the three things I've got to write onto each bag is my name so they know who the egg counts off. The dates, so they know what date it was taken, and the group. So these three things, and they shouldn't get mixed up, and it's sorted. So I'm going to write them down now and get them sorted. So that's the bag sorted. Got the one for the ewe lambs here. Just need to shut the gates so they don't get out. And then we can get on to taking the egg counts. So, as you all might be wondering, I haven't explained already. One feastal egg count is you take um, about 20 samples of poo, so feces, and then you send it off to the labs to see how many eggs are in the faeces. So these eggs are what would turn into worms, aka faecal egg count. So what I'm going to do now is try and push all the lambs into a group, leave them five minutes, hopefully a few of them will take some poos, or crap, whatever you want to call it. And then I'm going to pick some samples up, so that's the plant, I'm now going to move the ewes. Get on girls, come on! <whistles> so, um, so you might be wondering, um, how often I do this. So the egg counts I do a few times in the year. So I'm in a flock count club, which means I um, get to Sony free, it includes in my membership. So that's been with the vets and there's other things included too. So yeah, they're all just starting to group up over there. Just need to get a few that are over here and then we'll be able to take an egg count. So as well as telling us how many eggs are in the faeces, an egg count will also tell us um, what species the worm eggs are from. So this enables us when we do worm them, if they need to be wormed, um, to tell us which wormer we need to use. So there's four groups of wormers, clear, yellow, white, orange. There is also a purple wormer, so that's the fifth group. And there, um, it'll tell us which ones we need to use. So just gonna move these. Come on girls. They're all about together. I need to get them as tight as possible. Obviously that means they've got a smaller area to pick the poos from. Come on girls, come on. Come on girls. Come on. All together girls. Go on, go on. Right, so we've just about got them into a group now. What I'm going to do is just push them up into the corner up there. Um, this is key because this is telling me how the sheep are getting on because we don't want any um, sheep lambs with high worm counts because obviously it knocks them back. Because the worms will basically eat the food that we're feeding them, so the grass, and the nutrition isn't going to the sheep, so we don't want that. That's all the lambs, um, as tight as I'm going to get them really. I don't have a dog so I can't push them really hard. But yeah, just got to leave them five minutes. Then I'll take a count. And I need to hold them and not let them walk off. So while I'll give these um, five minutes, I'll just talk to you another reason why I'm doing the egg counts today. So in the sheep sector at the moment, there's a big thing about worm resistance. And this is where the worms are becoming um, resistant to the wormers that we use. So the products that kill the worms in the sheep. So this is through repetitive dosing worms with the wrong wormers or at the wrong rates. So over the years, there's a lot more worms about the resistance to the products that are available. And by doing the egg count, it means that we're not affecting the wormers in the future while doing as much as we can to protect them going into the future. Um, another thing I do on the farm, so I use a group four wormer. So this is a new product that came out a few years ago. Um, this is called Zolvix, an orange wormer. 
and this kills all the worms because it's got no resistance at all well very little in very small areas of the country so by doing this once a year it kills any worms in the flock so any worms that were gaining resistance to the products out there it's killing them and literally cutting the cycle off so we can't get more worms that are resistant i've left these uh, lambs long enough now so what i'm going to do is turn this bag inside out and use it like a glove so turn it inside out try and get on camera and then basically use it as a glove like so and pick up um 20 lots of poos craps can't say the other one whatever you want to call them that's what i'm gonna do now so what i'm looking to do while i walk around the sheep is try and pick up um, 20 samples of malteser sized poos so just taking a chunk out of each poo just look around where the sheep have been so here's a prime example of fresh poo here and i'm going to take 20 of samples like that keep them there just keep going So that's the first sample taken, that's the ulam soy, so that's the bag of poop there. Um, we're now going to head off to the Tutlands, which are just off the track and do the same there. So I'm just at the Tutlands now, I uh, managed to keep them into a small group here, so I just kept walking around when they stayed there. And they're looking really well at the moment. On some nice um, pasture here, some really smart Tutlands. So yeah, let's crack on and um, get the egg count done. So that's the faeces samples taken from the tups. What I would say is they're a little bit more uh, squitty, not as solid as the ulams, so these may be a bit wormy. It might just mean that the grass in here is um, a bit more lush, um, less fibre in it, so it could be a few things. It's good to know the reason behind it, really. Just got to say what are in here, these top lambs looking really smart at the moment. Best group of top lambs I've had. I know it's every year, but the, as the breeding goes on here, the group seems to be getting a lot more, a lot more consistent in a better quality. I know the video is not about this, but just a little update on what they're looking like. Right, um, now I'm gonna pop off to the ewes, do theirs. Um, another thing I did say there, there is only 20 in there, so I didn't quite get 20 counts. It won't matter really. So just on my way to the use now, um, one thing I forgot to say, so once we get the results from the egg counts, what we'll do is see if anything needs worming, and if something does need worming, we'll do another test a couple of weeks after to see if the um, wormers have worked, so if they haven't worked that means we've got worm resistance in the flock which is really bad. We haven't had any problems with that in the past but you never know, and um, this is the main, one of the main reasons why we're actually doing this today, to make sure that we keep the worm resistance down in the flock and get the ewes performing as well as they can. So I'm now down at the ewes and taking the 20 samples. One thing I've got to say when you're taking samples you should walk in a W shape across the field to make sure that you're not taking samples from the same sheep. And uh, another thing um, I forgot to say was that um, when we're worming what we do um, throughout the year obviously well not so obviously for some of you guys is the ewes don't get wormed as much as the lambs and this is because they build up um, resistance to worms themselves when they become older so this means these this group of um, sheep the ewes won't get wormed as much because obviously they build up resistance and it won't affect them as much but we still take an egg count to make sure that the worm levels in the flock isn't extremely high because then we would worm them anyway we really don't want a high level in the ewes but as it should as I said before, it shouldn't be a problem because they have um, natural resistance against them when they get older. So what we're looking for in here is fresh poo samples. So what we definitely don't want is an old sample because this won't give a true result. Um, the worms will have died off, the eggs will have hatched or died off and they won't turn up in the um, test. So what we're looking for is a fresh sample. So if we could, oh, I found one here. So a fresh sample will be a lot shinier. It won't have gone dull. And um, we take a Malteser size sample in the bag it goes, and then we'll carry on. So that's all the faeces samples taken at the use. So they're all here. I'd say these were a bit more similar to what the ulams were like, um, just down the road, unlike the tops. 
and um, there's an odd squitty one in here so I picked that up because they're probably more likely to have a worm burden in the sheep but yeah we're gonna take these to the vets now and I'll let you know what the results are tomorrow so I'll see you tomorrow guys hi everyone so it's a couple of hours after I took the egg cat and I'm in the sheep room apologies it's a bit messy but um short notice haven't cleaned it up recently I know I need to but yeah, the main reason they came up here is because we got the results back from the vets already. Really quick turnaround, so I'm really impressed. It's an hour and a half, two hours, but good news and bad news really. So the ewe lambs and the ewes had really low counts. They had 100 count of um, strong isle, so that's really low, not too bad, nothing to worry about. But then on the other end of the scale, the tuck lambs that I said look really good and fit. Um, they've actually got a really high count of thousands, so they've got some nematode virus and strong girls, so they really need worming spoke to vet and they advised me to dose them with some yellow wormers so i just nipped up to the farm because i want to do them tomorrow to make sure we got the wormer and uh, so i've got some leather cure here so this is a yellow wormer which is also a group two wormer so what i'm going to do is dose all those tuck worms tomorrow afternoon to make sure that they're all nice and fit and no worm problems so after all even though it was a routine check it was really good to get done because it showed up that they needed worming and that means that they're going to get wormed and they're not going to go backwards so it's best to keep on top of the tops don't want to go backwards so ideal good job done and we're going to get them wormed hi everyone so it's a day after and i've got the tops in because they definitely need worming so they're all here in the handling system we've got the wormer here but before that just like to say a massive thank you to nathan from um, lake district farming so he sent me a hat over he's got a youtube channel lake district farming go check that out guys another sheep guy so really good videos check him out but yeah we'll get on to worming now so we've got the yellow wormer so it's a group two wormer and a trick i've got is um i keep all the zolvix bottles for worming because if i get the camera right so the zolvix bottles if you undo the bottle it's a bit like um what you call it like the spray for the kitchen they have a tube that goes to the bottom so unlike these we have to tip them upside down to worm the sheep these ones you can hold them the right way up meaning you don't get all down your back so going on from that I weighed all these tops last week and they're all 65, 70 kilos. So the dosage from that would be, so 60 kilos is 15 mil. Then an extra 10, sorry, an extra 2.5 mil per 10 kilos. So these will need 17.5 um, kilos each, which means the gun needs to be set at 8.75 mil as this is a 10 mil gun. So I'll have to give them two squirts each. So yeah, I'm gonna, um, put the liquid into this bottle then get them warm. So I'll crack on and do that now So that's the tups done and worms, so they're here, all done. We're going to pop them back in the field now and I'm going to move them onto a new field um, tomorrow so that uh, all the eggs out of them and all the worms are on that field and they're going to go on fresh pasture so I don't want to take new worms over. But yeah, I'm going to do another count in a week's time to see if there's any resistance um, within these. Hopefully it's not touch wood. But yeah, um, that's us done for today. Um, I'll keep you guys updated so probably next Wednesday I'll um, let you know how these are getting on with the second egg count but yeah hope you enjoyed the video today guys if you did please hit the like button if you want to see more stuff like this please subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell because then you get to find out when we're doing new videos which are normally Wednesday and Saturday at half seven in the morning cheers for watching guys thank you